again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and I don't know where to begin. I really cannot believe it. Over a thousand subscribers, we did it. I, I never thought that this day would come, to be totally honest with you. I doubted this channel would even take off and now looking at it we have over 40,000 views on YouTube and um, I have met so many great people and I really wanted to do a live stream special for my 1,000 subscribers, but life got in the way and I'm in school right now and I'm also a professor and it just didn't really work out that way and it doesn't look like it will be. But of course, I made a promise and it's not too much to make one video a week, so I figured I would do an interesting video today. And this I titled Writing a Wrong, and this is Vince Gironda's Perfect Curl. I'm sure many of you are having deja vu because I have discussed this exercise before in my Vince Gironda's Favorite Exercises video, where I described, quote unquote, this exercise, but in all honesty, I described it backwards and completely incorrectly. And I f figured today would be as good a day as any to correct my mistake. And I feel it's necessary considering 3.6 thousand people saw that video and I don't want them to get the wrong impression. A gentleman by the name of Michael Finkley Jr. on YouTube actually brought this to my attention. And when I rewatched that video before I submitted it, something about it just didn't feel right, but I couldn't figure it out. And what had happened was I had explained the exercise in reverse. So. In the following video, I will correctly explain this exercise and also explain what I got wrong about it the first time around. Of course, I'll demonstrate it for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you. And thank you all so much for supporting me. I hope you all enjoy. So to many of you that have seen that previous video before, a lot of this may seem familiar, but stay with me, I'll explain the differences. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering that haven't seen that video, what is the perfect curl and why would you ever, ever want to perform it? Let me start off by saying this exercise is not necessarily difficult, but it is kind of weird. It's unlike any other curl variation. Um, a lot of Vince Durante's exercises are a bit unique, but this one is especially so. It is designed to target all three aspects of the bicep, as Vince Durante describes it, the low bicep, the belly, and the peak. So that's thickness from the front, from the side, and when flexed. You want to start this exercise by grasping a fairly light barbell and rest the elbows on the pelvis. Uh, Vince Gironda was a fairly short man, so he was capable of doing this. I'm actually six foot five, so my elbows are, instead of being at my el uh, pelvis, they're actually tucked to my side very tightly. At this point, you want to have your head and shoulders inclined back and behind your hips. This is what I got wrong the first time. The first time I explained this exercise, I said you wanna be leaned forwards. That's wrong. You wanna actually lean, be leaned back, and this will pre-stretch the biceps. While still leaned back, you wanna to begin to use the forearms and biceps to lift the bar the first 12 inches, and this will activate the low biceps. Then, as the body begins to travel slightly forward into the erect position, continue to lift the bar using the middle biceps alone. So that's that real thick area in the mid, section, in the mid part of your bicep. Finally, you will shift the body, shoulders, and head forwards until the movement is fully complete. So you're starting back, leaned back far, as far as you can really and you are then leaning forwards into the bar and slightly leaning your head even into it. You'll lean your head slightly forward at the conclusion of the lift. Now this depiction here is taken from Vince Gironda's favorite exercises, his little booklet he made. But I would say it's somewhat deceiving and isn't very clear about the exercise itself. His description is perfect. His description explains it very well, but the depiction itself doesn't really show uh, him leaned back and that's actually your starting position. You're leaning back to start off. I've spoken with many guys that have trained with Vince Gironda. I've seen Daryl Conant's video, wonderful guy. Go over uh, and check out his YouTube channel, purchase his DVDs. He has a lot of, in his books, he's got a lot of great stuff on Vince Gironda and he clarifies all of this stuff. Um, 
all those guys that trained with Vince Gerond and knew him knew this exercise. And, and me being relatively new when I made that video, I was off. And uh, it was not intentional. It was in no way malicious. I simply had it all backwards. So at this point, you have completed the movement and you will reverse to go back down. In the uh, Vince Durant's favorite exercises, he mentions you want to keep the weight extremely light. No more than 60% of your standard bicep max at any given rep range. Now, what does that mean? He's not saying 60% of your one rep max. He's saying 60% of your, let's say you're doing six reps, 60% of six reps that you can do with a standard uh, on a standard barbell curl. So 60% of that. So it's not a one rep max. You'll need to know your max for six reps of a standard barbell curl. Another thing uh, you want to make sure to always control the weight. You don't want to let the, the barbell just fall down. You don't want to be slack at any point. You want to have t you want to be tight and in control at all times, which is kind of difficult. This is a unique exercise variation. So I would say uh, don't try 60%. I would say try 30 to 40% and get comfortable with the movement to start off. And once you feel comfortable with that weight, add more weight until it becomes quite difficult. But I don't think this exercise necessarily needs a lot of weight. It's the motion itself that makes it difficult. It's not necessarily the weight at all. So that's something to consider. All right, in the following slide, I will demonstrate it for you correctly. And of course, if you have any questions about my form, just let me know in the comment section. All right, and this is the perfect curl. As you can see, I was leaned back to start off. See, lean back. I'm bringing the barbell up. And once I get it to the very top, I'm actually leaning my upper arms forward, something I forgot to mention before, and getting the barbell right to my chin, right underneath my chin, and really working on getting that entire stretch in the biceps. And this is a hard exercise. I tell you, it's a, you do not need a lot of weight before you really start to feel the burn. Um, I'm just doing six reps here, but it was quite taxing. And this is only, let's see, 20 pound bar. That's only about 40 pounds. And um, I can curl quite a lot of weight. So even with this little amount of weight, it is it is a tough exercise. But I mean, it's, it's wonderful. It was one of Vince Duranda's specialty exercises to really help thicken up the upper arm. And I believe it. I mean, he was a genius. And it's, it's certainly, it's certainly a, a worthwhile exercise to give uh, a try. Now, I am really sorry about the mistake, but it was a good teaching experience for me that, you know, you have to know when you're wrong. And I was wrong. And to try to hide it away would be the wrong thing to do. So I knew I had to make this video eventually. And I figured it would be a pretty special video for my 1,000 subscriber milestone. Uh, something where I admit to my mistake and we can move on from it. I think that's when you learn best to ignore or, or simply move through something when, when you have made an error is, is wrong. You have to learn from it. And that's all what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel, learning from my mistakes, finding things that work and, um, you know, trying my best to be friendly and courteous. You know, nothing about what I'm trying to do here is in any way malicious. I get certain individuals telling me that these exercise, exercises, some of them that I talk about are not forgotten, that they are very common. But I mean, what I'm trying to do is not necessarily even show you a forgotten exercise, you know, although that is the namesake of the channel. It's more so to demonstrate these old school exercises that maybe are not as common as they used to be. Something like the incline curl, for example, I had a gentleman try to tell me you know, how he is seeing all these young people do it now, that he's seeing everybody is still performing it. Well, I think a lot of that depends first on where you are in the country. And um, as far as young people, I'm a pretty young person, 23 years old, and I don't see many people perf performing incline curls. Um, I think this is a dying art. This old school way of bodybuilding naturally is a dying art. You know, there are all kinds of different things that people put in their bodies, different, um, you know, hormone regiments, and nobody wants to do it the old school way, the hard way. The way these guys did it was intentionally making things difficult. You know, if an exercise was easy, like 
you know, a barbell curl is a pretty straightforward exercise. These different variations are intentionally designed to make them more difficult. They are benefiting from limited equipment by making the exercise more difficult. And I think that's the genius of Silver Air Bodybuilding. They make a lot out of a little. And that's an amazing thing. And I think we could all learn from that. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for sticking by me. Uh, this is just the first thousand. I hope to get a lot more subscribers. And even if it were to just stop right here, I'm more than happy to continue. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.